Hello and welcome to iNurture videos. In this video, we will discuss about parameter parsing techniques. At the end of this video, you will be able to explain the concept of parameter parsing techniques. The methods in which parameters are passed or transferred to sub-programs are known as parameter parsing methods. There are three semantics models for parameter passing. They are in mode. Formal parameters can receive the information or data from its relevant actual parameter. Out mode. Formal parameters can send information or data to the actual parameter. In or out mode. Formal parameters can send as well as receive data from the actual parameters. The common methods for parameter passing are pass by value, pass by result, pass by value result, pass by reference, pass by name. Let's understand each of these methods. Pass by value. When the parameter is passed by value, it means that actual parameter value is used in order to initialize its relevant formal parameter. It then becomes a local variable within a sub-program. This parameter passing method belongs to in-mode semantics. Pass by result. When the parameter is passed by result, it means that there is no value moved to the sub-program. In this method, the local variable is its corresponding formal parameter. However, as soon as the control is given or transferred back to the caller, the value also is passed to the actual parameter of the caller. This parameter passing belongs to out-mode semantics category. Pass by value result. In this method, the actual values are moved, due to which this method is also named as pass by copy. As the copy of actual parameters is moved, to formal parameters at the entry of the sub-program. Later, it is copied back when the sub-program is about to terminate. Here, the actual parameter value initializes its relevant formal parameter and then behaves as a local variable. When the sub-program terminates, the formal parameter value is transferred back to the actual parameter again. This method of in-out mode is used in ADA for its scalar parameters. Pass by reference. When a parameter is passed by reference, the caller and the callee use the same variable for the parameter. If the callee modifies the parameter variable, the effect is visible to the caller's variable. When a parameter is passed by value, the caller and called have two independent variables with the same value. If the callee modifies the parameter variable, the effect is not visible to the caller. Pass by name. In this method, the formal parameter is bound to an access method during sub-program call. The actual binding to value or address takes time until the formal parameter has been assigned. It resembles pass by reference if the actual parameter is a scalar. The pass by name resembles pass by value if the actual parameter is an expression that is constant. This method belongs to in-out mode of transmission. One of the main advantages of this method is its flexibility. Let's have a quick recap on what we discussed. The ways in which parameters are passed or transferred to sub-programs is known as parameter passing methods. There are three semantics models, in-mode, out-mode, in or out-mode. Thank you for watching this video.